A lot of my friends know that I have somewhat of an unhealthy obsession with Selena Gomez, but can you really blame me? I like her acting. Chasing me without my sneaky side. No! Music's okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So the other day, I got a chance to meet her at a concert in Ottawa. And I know some of you guys might say, why Ottawa? Uh, there's a story behind that. Well, I bought tickets to her show for Toronto months ago. And then the dates got mixed up. So that concert got moved to the day of the Beyonce concert. And it was either Beyonce or Selena Gomez. Yeah, I know. Tough choice, right? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Obviously Beyonce. <laughs> but I still chose both. So I could have just bought a ticket to her show in London instead of going to Ottawa. And no, 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 not London, 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 Ontario. I got the tickets to the Ottawa show because that was my closest option because I'm not going to go all the way to Montreal. When I bought the tickets, I found out that the general admission tickets to the show was actually cheaper than the tickets that I bought for the Toronto show. Originally, I wasn't going to do it because I've never gone to a general admission show before. And on top of that, I haven't done a road trip to any place before. So originally I wasn't going to do it, but then, I mean, it's Selena Gomez. Can you blame me? So I drove five hours and then waited in line for three hours to go see Selena Gomez. But I mean, since I was going all the way to Ottawa, I might as well see, you know, some of like the attractions like the parliament building i've only seen that in my textbooks so i got to see it up close and then i went straight back to uh the canadian tire center and the waiting line for three hours to go see her you can call me crazy or dedicated i don't care i just got to see selena gomez after waiting for what seemed like forever they finally let us in and then everyone just started running all at once and i was like okay don't don't run isaac because you're better than this but then after I realized how long I was waiting for it, I started to run. Good thing I was wearing good shoes at that time. I was running down the steps and I was running past by people and then they scanned my ticket and I ran right to the front and I got right up row at the front, like right where the bars were. And I was just like, oh my gosh, she's gonna be this close to me? That's crazy. So then while everyone was coming up to the front because they were letting the general mission people in first, this girl came next to me and then she asked if she could come in just a bit. So I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. So she came in, so I got moved over a bit. And then she said, oh, can, is there like a room for your, like a tiny bit of room just for my friend, right? She's so like, yeah, sure, no problem. So I got moved over a bit. But then when the opening acts came on, this girl started pushing me more and more and more off. I was like, no, oh, wait, I'm the one who let you come in. So and if anything, you should be making sure I have the most space. You guys should just get a little part because I'm the one who let you guys in. I let them have it for the first opening next because I came here for Selena Gomez. So I was like, as soon as she comes on stage, as soon as those lights go black, I'm pushing your ass. So throughout the two opening acts, we were pushing back and forth with each other. And I was like, just wait till she comes on. Just wait till she comes on. So as soon as the lights went black and as soon as I heard the first song, I went, Boom! I pushed her right out the way and then I was just like, oh my gosh, she's right there. She's right there. I got camera footage of it, but she started coming closer and closer and closer. I was like, oh shoot, oh shoot. Like, I did not anticipate me being that close to Selena Gomez. That was just crazy. So after the show, Selena Gomez was having this big sort of meet and greet type of thing. So she came outside of the venue and then everybody was outside waiting for her. And oh my God, was it packed. Like there were people standing on cars. There were people running and pushing and shoving. And I was like, oh my gosh, what the hell is this? So I was trying to get a video of her on my phone, but then this 40 year old woman came in the way and she started elbowing me and pushing me. And she's like, you butted in front of me. Get out the way, stop pushing. And I was like, are you good? Can you calm down? And then she's like, you're the one who pushed. I'm trying to get a picture and you're in my way. And then I was like, Okay, you need this more than I do, so here, take my spot. 
I'll figure out something. I just moved down this big crowd and then I was just trying to get to see her because I noticed that she was walking this way. I started to move down there and I was like, okay, eventually I'll get a chance to see her. So I was getting some footage of her and then eventually she started moving over closer to me. So I'm not gonna lie, but my heart started to, you know, started to pound a bit. Just a little bit though. <laughs> and then I saw her coming closer and then I was like, okay, this is the moment. This is the moment you've been waiting for. And then right when I was getting ready to like get a closer picture of her, like like give my phone to her so that she can take a picture with me, everyone on my left and on my right started piling up closer to me. So I was squashed together. I was like, oh my gosh, what the hell's happening? And they're all screaming at her. They're all like throwing their phones at her. Like, can we take a picture? And then I was like, okay, you've been waiting for this for a long time, for a long time fight for this. I was fighting for that. I pushed my hand through and I gave her my phone and I was like, can you please take a picture with me? And then she turned around, she took the picture and I was smiling at the picture and then I was just so nervous and anxious. And then when I looked at the picture, I saw these random people in there and I was like, why are you jumping in my picture? But anyway, I got a picture with her and then I just, you know, kept my cool and just walked back to my car. I'm lying. I was shaking so much. I was like, oh my gosh, I met Selena Gomez. That's my story. Uh, I have video footage. I just documented the day. Um, so I'm just gonna let that play next. <laughs>